And that ability to constantly evaluate and choose gives us ultimate control over our lives. We lose a large part of our fear of making poor choices when we realize that the consequences of most choices aren't unalterable. We make the best choices we can with the resources available to us in that moment. The moment is ever changing, and so are many of our choices. Because of this, we can carry with us the assurance that regardless of how difficult the decision of the moment, the way things are today does not have to be the way things are tomorrow. What could be a more inspiring thought than that? My children's autism and ADHD endowed them with brains that learned differently than so called typical children. For the most part, We enjoyed amicable and productive relationships with our schools, but we nearly always parted ways on one subject testing. I railed against tests so poorly written they amounted to the equivalent of a foreign language to my autistic son. I threw them back at the schools, noting how riddled they were with obscure vocabulary that exceeded grade level, garbled facts. Irrelevant distractions. Plays into every weakness my students have, fumed one special educator who agreed with me. Test became a dirty four letter word in our house, our own personal profanity. So, was it ironic or was it serendipitous and redemptive that what crystallized my thoughts on the power of choice came to me in the form of A test preparation handout? One fine day during Bryce's second year of college, an instructor distributed a sheet of tips and strategies for passing a multiple choice test. I gave it a once over and drew the parallel immediately. Parenting a child with autism is like having to pass an everlasting multiple choice test. <laughs>